It's considered rude to bring over pets or even anyone that's not invited for that matter. So why would it be any different for children? What is up everyone, it's Kelsey with Diary of the Child Free, and welcome back to episode 10 of our series, What Would You Do? Today's episode pertains to a Reddit post that I saw the other day, regarding a person who was asking her friend when she planned to come over for a visit, to which she responded that she planned on coming in the spring or summer, but with her husband and children tagging along. The post reads, and I quote, So I text my friend who lives about an hour away from me, when are you going to come and spend a weekend with me? She has two kids aged 10 and 4. Her reply, it will be a family trip to your place. We'll plan on spring or summer. Um, okay, but no one invited your fam. I've never had kids over at my place and it's definitely not childproof or safe for or safe from a kid aged 4. While the user's question to her friend about coming over to visit was a little bit vague and could have included a lot more specifications, it's also a bit bold to assume that being invited over to a person's house immediately means bringing your entire family along as well, especially for a multiple day visit. So without further ado, Let's get into it, shall we? I really couldn't help but wonder if this is something the friend was already initially planning. Because to so swiftly reply with it will be a family trip to your place in the spring or summer sounds like it was already something she was considering. Regardless of what your relationship status is with a person, you should always lay out all the details on the table because not everyone is going to like surprises, especially like that. And in this case, coming over for a visit meant two very different things between the two people. While I can't say all people would know to do this, the friend who was asked about coming over to visit should certainly be asking if her family can even come, instead of making that assumption that they've all been invited, when her husband and kids weren't even brought up in the chat between the two friends. Within the friendship, you would at least hope that you know each other well enough to maybe, I don't know, not spring the idea of self-inviting your entire family along as well especially considering that that other friend doesn't have children and potentially may not be comfortable or fully comfortable having children in their home. Let alone, this friend is also including her husband in the invitation, who this user may not know well enough or at all or even get along with. This can mean that if this Reddit user has a partner themselves, this may now subject them to have forced interactions with others that they themselves may not even feel comfortable with, they may not know the person very well, or even like them. It's also important to know that this Reddit user's home may not even be big enough to host that amount of people all in one go. Because whether you're on your own or coupled up, for the most part, we tend to live in smaller spaces that suit our needs much better. Not everyone is going to have a guest room or a room specified for you guest, let alone sleeping arrangements for children. As it tends to be a lot easier to make a cozy little space for someone on our couches or to create a makeshift bed with a futon within what our space allows. A big thing that irks me regarding this post is something that plenty of parents have gotten way too used to, which is expecting nearly everywhere and everyone to welcome their children with open arms. Like this user said, she has never had children inside of her home before. And not to mention, it isn't even a child-friendly space. And while public spaces tend to be a lot more accommodating to parents, a home is a safe space, generally kept and maintain in a specific way by the person who lives there. There would be nothing fun or relaxing about chasing a child around, cleaning up messes, avoiding things being knocked over, as well as watching out for hazards like stairs or sharp corners. It's fine and understandable if they hold different rules and expectations for their own spaces, but all too often parents don't adjust themselves when they're outside of their own homes and rarely ever hold their kids accountable. You wouldn't, or at least I hope you wouldn't, bring your child to a fine arts museum. So don't just go around assuming that they're welcome in everyone's home without asking. Even if this Reddit user is friendly and gets along quite well, with her friend's children, it certainly doesn't mean that she wants them inside of her home. If this were me, I would have no issue whatsoever telling the friend that by asking when are, and I emphasize you coming over, I literally meant just you. By only being an hour drive away, 
The friend's husband should be more than capable of caring for their kids for a couple of days by himself. After all, we all know that parenting shouldn't just come down to the mother alone. The dynamic changes so much between just having a friend over versus an entire family, and not everyone is going to be up for that. I'm sure this user was thinking of having a more chill and much more laid back visit. More along the lines of just hanging out, maybe watching some movies, grabbing lunch or dinner, and just catching up with her. I would be completely honest in explaining that my intentions were focused on having a girls only weekend. Because when a husband and their children become involved, that then becomes a whole other level of entertaining. That is then centered around the children, for things like the food, as well as the entertainment. Not to mention, and personally speaking, I wouldn't want children staying at my home either. And depending how the situation would progress and just the overall mood later on, I would tell them that if they remain set on coming strictly as a family, they either have to have a hotel or not come at all. Because three out of the four were not originally on the invitation list. When you aren't used to having children in your house, it can very easily become a big and sticky mess within a matter of minutes, especially when those kids are pretty young. And all too often, like I've mentioned, Parents tend to treat your home as if it were their own. And I would just rather not deal with the stress of worrying if food is going to become glued to various surfaces or if I'm going to find something broken weeks later. Thankfully, this is one of those much more easier scenarios to uphold honesty with a friend regarding what you initially meant and the expectations that you had with your invitation to come visit. It's one of those things where the homeowner is upholding their personal boundaries and not letting just anything slide. Because if this is a true, genuine friend, they should be more than understanding of the situation and where the user is coming from, or at least be willing to find a compromise with everything. If we learned anything from the situation, it's that we have to be very specific with most things, especially when it comes to talking and planning with parents, just to guarantee that everyone is on the same page and avoid the risk of unwanted surprises. So now it's your turn. What would you do if you found yourself in this scenario with a friend? Or perhaps you've actually been in this situation before and you can share your advice and wisdom with us all. Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to stay posted. And as always, keep being authentically child free.